We have assisted thousands of people in hundreds of teams across many organizations. And the data adds up to a few interesting facts. In average, 42% of all team suffers from one or more serious challenges, defined as scoring in the lowest 15 percentile on a main driver. In some organizations, it's lower, in some higher. But in all organizations we have assessed so far, we have a significant amount of teams who are holding back everyone else. Teams who are challenged are never surprised when confronted with the data. They always know that they have a problem, but they seldom agree on the problem. So it's generally highly appreciated when we point them to a very specific challenge supported by benchmarking data and supported with tools that can help teams address their challenge. We also measure huge variations in team performance. When we compare any two organizations, we do see differences, and we can definitely profile the different cultures based on our data. But when we add up the averages high level, any two organizations are pretty close. Whereas when we look at the individual teams in an organization, the variety is huge. This brings us to the maybe most important conclusion from our data. If a company develops one-size-fits-all programs based on their average culture, average strategic challenges, they will miss the need in almost all cases. Such programs risks being relevant to none. Instead, you need to find a way to address the specific needs of the individual teams. And as a final point, if you want to improve overall performance, don't waste resources on the teams who are doing great. Instead, focus on the teams that are challenged. Two reasons for this. In collaborative organization, challenged teams are holding back everyone else, and their short-term improvement potential is much, much higher. So in essence, it's time to drop any one-size-fits-all approach and use the resources where it actually pays off. It's time for learning and development to deliver real positive business results.